barn? Right, right, right. The hall. He said, take what you want. I said, you sure, Clyde? He says, it's all junk to me. I said, okay, Clyde, okay. Let's see what we got. Go to auctions, yard sales, comb the dump. There's crap, there's crap, there's crap. Wait, what's this? More crap? <laughs> no. Linen. This is linen. Gorgeous Irish linen. See how I can tell. Right here, this floating thread, you see. That's what makes it damask. And the weight, the weight, this drape. And the pattern, crisp and clear. See how it's made from matte and shine. It's tattered here, but all the rest. How beautiful, how fine. What else? Crack. Crack. Oh, dead mouse. Can I have it? All yours. <laughs> What's this? Silver. Is this silver? Is this junk or silver? The polish we can tell. I love how tarnish melts away, opening to luster. And the mark, is there a mark? Yes, this stamp you see right here. That's how the craftsman leaves a sign that he was here and made his work so beautiful, so fine. This has traveled continents to get here and crossed an ocean of time and somehow landed in this box under a layer of grime. I can't abide romantic notions of some babe long ago. I want to know what's true, dig deep into who, and what, and why, and when. Until now, it's way too late. You ever imagine that I'd hang on to your stuff, Dad? Yeah, me either. I guess I always knew that someday I was going to draw you in cartoons. Yes, Dad, I know you think cartoons are silly, but I draw cartoons. And I need real things to draw from, because I don't trust memory. But God, this thing is ghastly. You were so ecstatic when you found it at a yard sale. No, no, wait. In Mr. Gibbons' barn, it all comes back, it all comes back, it all comes back. There's you. I can't find my way through Just like you Am I just like you? A sign that he was here. I can't find present notions and of some way long ago I, I want to know what's true to deep into who and what and why and when Until now it's ways Lady is on her way over to see the house. Listen, 
to me, please. And this is one of those times I need you to do what I say. No shenanigans. He wants the apple white sweet chair back in the parlor. Move the G.I. Joe. This can't be on the floor. He wants the trust in the green back in the great front. A slinky mess is up. The theory is a car. Get the lemon and the pasta. They should waste the seat in the direction. He wants it back in the circus cleaning. He wants it closer to the floor. He wants, he wants, he wants. <laughs>
He fell off a ladder and broke his neck. Get this place cleaned up. Be a long night. When you break your neck, is it just like crack you're instantly dead? No. Probably his head was hanging from his neck, and then he couldn't see. And then he couldn't eat or anything. And then he died from not eating and running in <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> you guys, we gotta catch the commercial. Yeah, messed it up. Give it to me! I want it! My turn! <laughs>
went swimming. <laughs> Got a new Hardy Boys book. Had egg salad for lunch. What was that about, Dad? Why did you call me back there? Was that how your dad showed you your first dead body? Was that like some sort of Bechtel rite of passage? I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into this. Maybe I just needed the scissors. If we're careful, this should bloom in a couple of weeks. Here, hold that. Let me see that shovel. Where is the peat moss? This book you came from someone else's yard. That's a leaf. No one has lived in that house for five years. Nobody's going to miss it. Fine. <clears throat> Mom's back from play practice. Here, who's your costumes? They are. I want to see it. Me too. Oh, careful. <laughs> hey everyone, que pasa? Hi boy! Hey boy! What's going on? Hey, look like a guy I met the other day. Are you the same guy? I know what he looked like upside down! <laughs> Hello, I'm Helen Bechtel. Hey, oh, um, Mrs. Bechtel, I'm sorry. I'm Roy. I know who you are. My aunt and uncle talk about you all the time. They see your place. They're crazy about you. They're always saying how much better you are than, uh, Irma Hornbacher. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, come on now. You are in a different class. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of New York theater, and even by those standards, she is exceptional. My mom's in a play called Mrs. Warren, the Professor. <laughs> Mrs. Warren's Profession. She studied in New York with Ada Hagen. Do you know who that is? I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get started? Sure, wherever you want. Let me grab my tools. Hey, Roy, did you see Herbie Rides Again? Oh, yeah, it's the best movie. Herbie the car! No, I haven't seen it! The love bug? You didn't see the love bug? <laughs> Who's that? Why is he here? I admired him. To do what? To help me out. Where is he from? When I was at the lumber yard the other day, he was there working for Arnie. It's got a truck, he does hauling. Arnie said he did a good job, was looking for more work. So he's just hauling. Hauling? Other things? I don't know. So you think he's going to be working here? The house? What difference does it make? I just wanted to know. Who Look, Arnie it. recommended him. years ago. What do you think? I'm just bringing some bum around the house? Is that the bug up your ass? Christ. Hey, Roy, what about something else you got the movie that's funny? It's that car. It's a car? It's a car? But they call it a bug, even though it's a car. Hey, let's go inside. I'll show you that wallpaper. No, no. And what 
We just need really good no nukes posters. Right. Okay. So something maybe like. Well, that's funny. That's really good. This is no. This is just quick and stupid. Who's in the photo? My dad. That's your dad. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Did he teach you how to draw cartoons? Definitely not. <laughs> Why is that funny? Oh, it's not funny. He's just more. I don't know. Refined? Well, what's he do? A bunch of things, actually. He's a house restoration, historical society kind of guy. He's a high school English teacher. He Did you get to be in his class? Yeah, I was. Oh, really? Yeah. I was joking. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, well, what I was going to say is that everyone in Beach Creek at some point is in my dad's English class, and he's known as a great teacher. Oh, so. Cool. Yeah. He sends me books. Will you talk about them? He sends you books to read on top of your sister? <coughs> yeah. That's a little weird. Is that weird? Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know, like, well, what books? Like, uh, ah. Uh, Colette. Yes. Your father sent you Colette. Yes, why? I don't know, he's just like the opposite of my dad. He's like sending you lesbian books. No. I, I mean, yeah, I guess Colette was a lesbian, oh, but... Oh, she was. Okay, but he sent it to me because he thought I'd be interested in the whole... art? Paris. Bohemian scene. Yeah, but he didn't send you a book about Toulouse-Lautrec. He sent you Colette. I think it's amazing that your dad is cool with you being a dyke. What? I... I don't think so. Oh. He's not? No. I, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Sure. Why? Because I, I don't know how my parents feel about... I just figured it out myself. Oh? About two weeks ago? Huh? With who? With who what? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> who were you with? Nobody. Nobody! Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god. I was in a bookstore. <laughs> in a bookstore? Nice! <laughs> no, no, two weeks ago I was downtown. I wandered into this bookstore. I was just browsing and I came across this book. Ah, oh, word is out. And I was like, oh, interviews. This seems interesting. And then I realized all of the people in this book are, uh, gay. Gay, yes. And then I was like, oh my god, I am a, a lesbian. Yes, a dyke, yes. And then I totally flipped out, shoved the book back on the shelf, and I left. And then I went back the next day and I bought the book. <laughs> and then I went back the next day and bought all the other books in that section. And then I made myself go to the meeting at the gay union. And then, then it's now. Hi. <laughs> That's a powerful book. It is. So I should probably go. Okay, so will I see you at the union meeting tomorrow afternoon? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be, I, I, uh, yeah, I'll be at the meeting. I'll bring those posters, finish them up. Cool, I'll see you then. Bye, Allison. Bye! Ciao.
You messed this up already. Mr. Barrett. Ow! Sneakers. Why? Because you are going to a party here. And what are those? A pity. I despise this dress. What's the matter with boy shirts and pants? You're a girl. <laughs> Every other girl at this party is going to be wearing her prettiest dress, and you want to wear what? Jean jacket? Trousers? That's a regular thing. You do realize, though, that you will be the only girl there not wearing a dress. And if that's what you want, if you want, Everyone talking about you behind your back. It's okay with me. Go ahead and change. Well, are you going to change? Maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. Dear Mom and Dad. Good. I'm trying to tell you something, and I'm having kind of a hard time because it's kind of a big deal. It's not that big of a deal. It, it might be a big deal. I don't know. I want, I want, I want, I am a lesbian. Dear Mom and Dad, I am a lesbian. Hey. I did it! Did what? I, I told my parents. Told your parents what? That I'm a lesbian. Oh my god. Nothing. I, I just sent it in the mail just now. <laughs> oh, but I feel so tough, so sure of myself, so many things. Oh my god, so many things just make so much sense. Like, that's why I was in love with my first grade teacher? That is why I was in love with my first grade teacher. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Welcome to the club. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, okay, new lesbian. We are going to the party at Women's Collective tonight. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I just have a lot of work to do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. What's going on? Nothing. What? I don't know if I'm going to fit in. With who? With the lesbians. The real lesbians. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're political and socially conscious and... <laughs> Real lesbians. Uh, look, the only thing that I know about myself for sure is that I'm asexual. I am. I'm not attracted to men, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm attracted to women. to a meeting at the Gay Union last night. I was petrified. There was a lot of political talk. Almost too much, but ultimately a reasonable amount. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I signed up to help organize it, Take Back the Night March. I don't know why I did it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> What happened last night? Are you really here? Joan, 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 Joan. Hi, Joan! Don't wake up, Joan! Oh my god, last night. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, last night. I got so excited, I was too enthusiastic. 
enthusiastic. Thank you for not laughing. Well, you laughed a little bit. At one point when I was touching you and said I might lose consciousness, which you said was adorable, and I just have to trust that you don't think I'm an idiot or some kind of an animal. I've never lost control due to overwhelming lust. But I must say that I'm changing my major to Joan. I'm changing my major to sex.
friends of ours would come over and we'd sit and talk and have breakfast. Hey, where did you live after that? Here. Your grandfather died while we were there, so we came back. Oh yeah, because Daddy's here in the fun room. Yes. I know. Daddy, you saw the Leaning Tower of Pisa one time, right? I did. What's up? In school we're learning about maps and books. And the spinster said, draw a map of all the places people in your family have been to. Uh -huh. They're for showing tomorrow in the class. Oh. What's this? Okay, so this is a keystone because Pennsylvania is the keystone. This square? That's Beach Creek. See, it's the bridge, the ford, the creek, school, fun home, our house, and Jane and Uncle Randy's house. That's Germany. I know. John. Christian, me. See, fucking little bubbles because we're not born. <laughs> oh, that is very interesting. But let me show you how we can make it better. You've got like ten drawings going on here, so you can't really see any of them. So pick one. Uh, this is a cartoon. And in cartoons, there's all different parts. Yes, but we can make it better than a cartoon. But I like cartoons. Cartoons are fun, but I'm showing you how to make something substantial and beautiful. Listen to me. You have the potential to become a real artist. Do you know that? You do. But that means you have to learn the craft. And you have to study the rules. So let's talk about composition. Okay, you have too much going on here. The pick one area. The keystones. That's still too much. Here, watch this. Now I am going to draw our mountains. You see how I'm shading them? That gives them dimension. Make this part look rugged. Allegheny Plateau. This dark shaded stripe pom, 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 is the front. Paint the long ridges and valleys below. Mm. I want the whole state. Well, Allison, you cannot do it that way. Let me try. Allison, this is the way it should look. I like the way mine looks. Well, you cannot do it like that unless you want to ruin it. I am trying to teach you something important. Bruce, it doesn't matter. It's a drawing. Oh, it doesn't matter. She is taking it to school. She is showing it in class. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. You want to take some half-baked mess into school? You want to embarrass yourself like that? Do what you want.
Hey, Mark, is that you? Oh, hey, Mr. Bechtel. Hey, you want a ride? Oh, I'm not going far. Oh, come on, let me give you a lift. Got to put these groceries in the back. Get in. So, Mark, how's your summer going? Got a job? Yeah, we're going to stop for the Cosgroves. Great. Staying on track. You want a beer? I, um, I don't think I better. <laughs> it's okay, there's some in the bag. Judge said he had to go. It's complicated. We thought we were going to have to move. Move? Where would we go? You don't have to move. The judge said your dad could see someone instead. I can't explain it better than that. You don't need to worry. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. Yeah, everything's going to be just fine. Slam. Crash. Who fucking left these here? I just furnished that table! What did you do? Those are library books. No, I'll take that Stop back to the library, you crazy Bruce, stupid bitch! Bruce, just go! Uh, just go to your appointment, Bruce! <laughs> Don't fucking tell me what to do. You missed this appointment. We're in the black club. Do you understand? Thank you for the lecture. I can handle my own business. You're not home for dinner. I'm throwing it in the toilet. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
dark when baby I looked in your eyes And that's when I knew to get a newspaper. 
You are so tired you're going to be asleep before you even get back. Not very no. I said I am running out to get a newspaper. Okay? Do you want me to sing to you?
but I did. I saw her the moment she walked in. She was a delivery woman. She came in with a handcart full of packages. She was an old school butch. Someone just came in the door. No one else. I don't 
don't know how he hasn't been caught or exposed. There was that thing with Roy. Our yard guy? Our babysitter? What do you think he was doing when he went out in the middle of the night? Or was taking his trips? One time he came home with body lice. It's been going on for years. Or our whole marriage. Actually. Well, why are you telling me this and not Dad? Tell the truth. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a flop. 
here. You're here. Hi, Mom. Uh, is this your friend? Yeah, this is Joan. Thank you for letting me come to stay, Mrs. Bechtel. It's a pleasure to meet you, Joan. <laughs> hey, there you are! Oh, the prodigal returns. Uh, hey, Dad. Uh, this is... Joan! Nice <laughs> to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Joan. <coughs> hey, look, kiddo, I've got to go and get some of three-quarter inch fly from Vickers before they close. You want to go for a drive later? Sure. So, my goodness, it's lunchtime. Are you girls hungry? I'm okay. You? Uh, we're fine. Sure? Yeah, we, we stopped at a diner on the way, but, but you should go ahead and eat. <laughs> I'm fine. I may have a glass of wine, though. <laughs> Would either of you like a glass of wine? Oh, no, thanks, Mrs. Bechtel. Maybe you guys would like some time to talk? Uh huh? Because, you know, I wouldn't mind laying down for a bit. Still pretty wiped from last week. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I thought I'd put her in the lilac room. Uh, upstairs, first door on the right. Come get you another. Door. <coughs> well, uh, you must be tired too. I'm fine. So, how have things been here? Uh, he bought that old <laughs> shell of a house out of Route 150, did he tell you that? Y yeah, I think he mentioned it in one of his letters. <coughs> you know, I've been getting two, three, sometimes four letters a week. They're kind of Years manic. ago, he talked about buying it, and he, uh, he looked it over and said, it's not worth it. It's too far gone. And that was back then, so I don't know by now. It's even more when the down has decided you can fix it up. Sure you can. Probably. He's out there, day and night, like a maniac, not eating. I don't think he's sleeping. Sometimes I walk into a room and he's standing there, not moving, frozen, a statue. Yeah, I don't know. He's been kind of sick a bit. Sick of cooking for him, and I'm sick of cleaning this museum. It's too much. You've done too much. You know, shortly after we were married, we took a drive from Germany, where we were living, to Paris. He wanted me to meet an army of We had beautiful.
piano and no one blocks the play you disappear Days and days and days That's how it happens Days and days and days Made of posing and bragging and bits of rage That boys can I cut you were 
were doing when you gave me that Colette book? I... You... Just help. Is that too much air? Oh, mm -mm. Telephone wire. And run, telephone wire, sun down on the creek, partly frozen, partly flowing, must be windy, trees are bending, junction 50, field needs mowing, feels like this car is floating. Dad. Norris. 
show? Dad! Yeah. Hey, did I tell you about that new project I'm working on? That old house out on Route 150? I'm sure you've seen it, Al. It's been standing there vacant for 40, 50 years. Stop too fast. Telephone wire. Make this not the past. This car ride. This is where it has to happen. There must be some other chances. There's a moment I'm forgetting. Are you coming in? Life I could, 
but the edges of the world that held me up have gone away, and I'm falling into nothingness or flying into something so sublime. I can't go back, I can't find my way through. I might still break a heart or two. But when the sunlight hits the parlor wall, at certain times of day, I see how fine this house could be. I see it so damn clear. Oh my God, why am I standing? Hey. Mm -hmm. 
open, there was a rare moment of perfect balance when I soared above him. Thank you.